You stop, breathe. I promise you everything's going to be okay. Stop stressing so much, girl. I don't even think you'd hear that. Hey, girl. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading. Now, Aquarius, I also do your weekly you versus them tarot reading, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. I also do, I just recently, uh, Aquarius, did your urgent spirit guide messages uh, for your zodiac sign, which I'll leave a link to over there as well if you'd like. But when it comes to any of my tarot readings, Aquarius, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, Aquarius, and just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. Now, Aquarius, if you find some cards that resonate with you, be sure to let me know in the comments below, because that's how I keep up with y'all. And if you do find some cards that resonate, I would really appreciate it, Aquarius, for you to take the time to give me a like and subscribe, because it does help out my channel a lot, and I just always appreciate when you guys take the extra time to do that for me to help me out. Um, and then, yeah, before we get into this reading, Aquarius, I just want to finally say that this reading here is just to give you some perspective, right? That's all tarot is for. Um, ultimately, the final decision is yours to make. This tarot reading and any of my tarot readings are just here to give you some food for thought, something to consider as you go throughout your week, a perspective to think about, right? So let's just get into your tarot reading now, Aquarius. I start out, I always start out your readings. Oh, I forgot to get an oracle card, actually. Moon oracle card for you. Um, but yeah, I always start out my readings with just a general, uh, energy of things, just to get a general idea of what's going on, see what's up, Aquarius. So, now that I pulled your moon card, let's get into this, Aquarius. <laughs> we have the commit- uh, honey. We have the first quarter moon coming in, your commitments being tested, Aquarius. So, I always get excited when I see this card, because I get excited because this lets me know that- I mean, when you're being tested, usually there is something, there's some type of end result after the fact if you pass that test, right? And really, I like to view it as you pass the test just by making it out on the other side. It doesn't matter how bruised and battered you look, honey, just as matter you get to that finish line. That's all that matters, right? There's no time limit. There's no first place, second place, third place. There's just Aquarius, honey. And I feel like you need to remind yourself of that. Aquarius, I just even judging from these tarot cards, um, Aquarius, I'm just getting this sense of, um, I mean, I'm going to be honest, honey, I'm, I get this sense of insecurity coming in and maybe I'm just out of pocket right now. Maybe I'm speaking out of pocket, honey, and you can correct me, Aquarius, but I do guess you're in your head. You're in your head, I guess is really what I'm trying to say. So let me get into the tarot cards of this message now. We have the Ten of Cups with the Six of Cups coming in here. And I know, I want to say Aquarius, I know you've been in your head for a few weeks now, just based off of the readings I've been doing for you. Um, so we really need to get this out. We need to figure out how, what we can do, Aquarius, to get you out of that state where you're so in your head. Um, but yeah, now let's get into these Cups cards. <laughs> with the Six of Cups and the Ten of Cups, this lets me know of, seems to be such an energy, like, Hmm. I can't help but feel like you're looking at like your home life, your family life, whatever these Ten of Cups represents. Usually it's like that family life. But I also see this as is more so just like your things that you've kept in your life for a long time, right? With that Six of Cups here, it lets me know some type of history. So you could be having some stresses, some anxiety, some question on... um Think, just really the things that make you happy, just the things that fulfill you, whether that's with your relationship, whether that's your work. There's just something in question, something that just has you kind of just being like, ugh, right? And it's not necessarily, I mean, I mean, you don't want to be in that state, right? Um, but I guess I'm more so just understanding like your anxiety, I guess, Aquarius, just because of these two being paired together. I get a better perspective in that you are stressing so much because it's so important to you. It's something that's been in your life for a long time, you've cared about for a long time, that's probably even helped fill up some of those cups of yours, right? This is really just such a... I'm getting an idea of just like, just the severity or like how serious it is for you, Aquarius. And so the other tarot cards that I pulled for you, we have the Dawn of Rings coming in for you, where you're just in the state of self-reflection. You're in the state of, um, you're kind of just pushing through right now, Aquarius. I'm going to be honest. I get this sense of where you're just pushing through right now. You're just trying to make the best of whatever it is, whatever it is that you have. 
And it kind of feels like you're just taking things day by day. That is not a bad thing. But again, we want to get out of that sense of where you feel like you have to just take things day by day from a place of just probably just exhaustion. Um, Seven of Swords comes in. So maybe something has happened. Aquarius, it's kind of shook, shaken up your Ten of Cups. Maybe someone, maybe someone isn't acting in the way that they've normally acted. Um, maybe things just, you know, because here's the thing: I'm not seeing anything that's. Um, I mean, I guess we'll see through ter like through the other, further into this reading, but I'm not getting this sense, Aquarius, of um, anything not. Uh, outside happening right we're not seeing like a ten of swords we're not seeing like a tower card we're not seeing like the world the hanged man none of those cards that are talking about action um it just this seems to be addressing just very real emotions that you're experiencing right now i mean you could just be a naturally anxious person but with the seven of rings this just is another long-term card it's another card of where like investing the proper energies into something so whatever it is like something that you've been putting a lot of time a lot of emotion a lot of energy into aquarius there's some type of anxiety and it could just be about like just your life in general that you're having anxiety about right I mean, who hasn't but um something's just something has you just feeling on edge almost so now Aquarius I can't feel I can't help but feel like I called you Gemini earlier Aquarius and if I did I apologize um now Aquarius we're going to be getting into your rose so your first row is going to be for my Aquariuses that are interested in hearing about their career and finances the second row is just going to be your social situations Aquarius and then you'll last row it's just going to be some final thoughts closing thoughts from spirit um so let's just get into my uh, career and financial now for my aquariuses so we have for your cards the knight of cups we have the wheel card okay and the lovers so i mean one aquarius i really want to point out to you you got <laughs> two major arcana you're getting a lot of major arcana right off the bat um i am i feel like it's already going to set the tone for the rest of this reading as well you're probably going to get a lot more but um let's break this down knight of cups talks about usually talks about a person i do there does seem to be a presence of a person here. So this could be uh, Aquarius where it's like someone reaching out to you with an opportunity, a really good opportunity for you. Could just be a sense of where it's just like things start working out and like a raise is just offered to you unexpectedly, right? Whatever this Nine of Cups is the representation of, I do just see it as like, a blessing packaged, being packaged and delivered to you through the shape of a person bringing it towards you, right? It may not be that person that's the blessing, but it's what that person represents and brings forward to you in that cup. Um, the lover's card paired with the wheel card. And we'll address the wheel first. Um, I feel like things are just like when the wheel comes into a reading, it's kind of like letting you know wheel. Like actually, all the air signs got the wheel card in different through the different tarot decks. And now that I'm thinking about it, so there is just probably like this general energy of things now where things are. You might have noticed recently, Aquarius, things are starting to get a little bit lighter. Now I know for some of you Aquariuses right now, you're probably whirling your eyes and be like, mm, "Girl, I may not be, may be feeling lighter for you, but not me." Um, <laughs> And that may be true for you, Aquarius, but I just get the sense of there's going to be a little bit less resistance coming in here. I feel like it's going to be around the same timing as this Knight of Cups coming in. Now let's just address this Lover's card, right? Because the Lover's card always has people's ears perked up and being like, what does this come mean? Now the Lover's it means in a literal sense, but in this dynamic, and this is why I was feeling like it comes in as the shape of a person for your career, like a blessing comes in more so just because it's like... The lovers represents like a big decision me needing to be made. Um, decide, you know, it's like you think about the lovers like holding hands in like marriage, while some of you, like, it's not even some of you, because this is about career. But um, for some of you, Aquariuses, it could just be a sense of um, how do we put this? <laughs> You're trying to decide. I I don't feel like there's not really a transition being done, Aquarius. Like I don't get this sense of where like this Nine of Cups opportunity comes in, where it's like a completely different job thing that you're doing. I feel like you're staying you're staying the course for what it is that you're already doing. I just feel like the decision being made just comes in the sense of like 
perhaps like where you want to put your energy into how you like your expertise where you want to put your expertise into something right looking at these uh clarifiers we have the moon card interesting the moon card came up for all the other air signs as well through different tarot um the moon card coming in with the wheel this is again like unexpected this is like ooh, that sense of where it's just like i'm not gonna say overnight uh aquarius but there is like a sense of like once things start shifting and working out for you it's just like one of those like you wake up one day and things just start panning out maybe you wake up one day i said in reference to um i think it was libra um how i explained it with them was where you woke up one day and like you just woke up to a bunch new of new sales right but in this sense it's maybe almost like you woke up one day and like your boss offers you like a raise or just like an opportunity to have like a promotion almost right four of cups comes in with the knight of pentacles this is where you want to be careful aquarius this is where you probably should take some extra notes here even because I do get the sense of, because it's going to come in through a shape of a person, I really just stand by that, Aquarius. You may not be considering them as like something that would help elevate you in terms of your finances and career. You won't, you're not considering it, right? This cup being offered to you, this is essentially like the Knight of Cups here, um, even though it's like a cloud, where it's just like they're trying to offer this cup to you Aquarius, but you're not seeing it at all. You're not receiving this. You're not seeing this Knight of Cups being offered to you. you. I don't know what's going on here. Like why you wouldn't. Maybe you just don't consider that person being possible. Or I don't know. Maybe you're just not considering the possibility. Um, then the Lover's card comes in, interestingly enough, with the Three of Pentacles. Now, again, referencing other energies involving you, Aquarius. Other energies part of this process. The Three of Pentacles is seeing someone on a pedestal. Um, that collaborative energy, working with somebody so truly all your career cards are shaped towards like things just like it also is talking about like contracts as well so it's almost just like someone comes in with like a contract or like an offer for you Aquarius that really helps and helps uh, ele uh, elevate you in your career in a sense but I just I feel like it's still in the same field like I don't feel like it's like changing jobs I don't feel like you're doing anything differently than what you're doing now I just think your work is finally starting to just be noticed and appreciated Aquarius so really good let's now get into my Aquarius's social situations through tarot cards see what's up with that right off the bat we already have them four cards coming out for you as well Aquarius so this is interesting we have for you the uh, knave of swords coming in the emperor card coming in king of cups as well uh y'all like how i'm like listing them just cover them as if you can see them and then the seven of swords coming in so aquarius what is going on here honey when i see it's this is interesting to me Aquarius just because it's like I see these two cards as you or you trying to get to this level where it's like the Emperor and the King of Cups of where you are kind of like taking a matters into your own hands in regards to your emotions notice remember it's like this cups these cups seem to be following you so heavily it does seem to be this is just like this seems to be the situation that we are addressing that you were having anxiety about with this. Is what I'm trying to say, Aquarius. And I feel like you're like done having anxiety about it and taking matters into your own hands finally and addressing um, that Ten of Cups and that Six of Cups that you're having a little bit of anxiety about. It feels almost as if like um, you're no longer in the passenger seat of your life anymore and you're you're realizing this and you're just kind of like waking up to it, to it and really taking more action. Nave of Swords and the Seven of Swords comes in, I do get the sense of you're probably engaging the communication, Aquarius. You're probably the one that's just like, uh, it'd be very much so as like, who are we? What are we doing? Um, what's the long term, right? You're just trying to be on the same page with them, Aquarius, because you are done feeling anxious about this connection, perhaps. Either. So let's see if we can get any clarification before we continue on with your rose, Aquarius. Let's see what's up with this. 
So we have the Five of Pentacles with the Emperor card. Definitely there is this sense of someone feeling like they're all left out in the dark, someone left out in the cold, um, someone feeling abandoned almost. This could just be dealing with your abandonment issues, Aquarius. Uh, Seven of Wands, this is like a sense of where, with, as a clarification of the King of Cups, this is probably like a sense of where you kind of have to like... It's almost like Aquarius, you were having anxiety about this person or persons and just like, ugh, like, it's almost like you didn't feel like they're like part of the team, like part of your team. They weren't fighting along with you. In fact, kind of like making things harder for you. And so it's almost just like you're trying to clear the air and being like, like, are we friends or like, you know, it's just like, what are we? And again, I, it doesn't have to be romantic or, or anything like that. It could just be platonic and just being like, where do we stand, right? It's like, are we going to be, are we close friends? Are we not? Are we just acquaintances or are we not? Like, what's up, right? Um, because it does seem to be like you care about this connection a lot and you just want to be on the same page. And it seems like because you care so much, a lot of overthinking can happen, overanalyzing of people's behaviors or lack thereof right we have the six of wands coming in here for your stone of swords so this is a victory card this is lets me know like through you taking action you'd be happy with the results even if the results aren't what you would like best case scenario right you'll get closure in a sense i do get the sense of you're through this communication with this person you're going to get closure and whether like just even realizing being like they don't maybe you don't want to be your friend anymore but you're happy with the closure in the sense that you're no longer questioning right i always like to, i feel the need to clarify that because i feel like when i say you're going to be happy with the result you may be unhappy with like what happens but long term you're just no longer having it hang over your head Nave of Swords comes in with the Seven of Pentacles. So, or not the Seven of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles. So yeah, this is just more so like you probably probably have felt like you put more energy than this other person, right? It probably has felt like a one-way street, which would explain why you were feeling like the Five of Pentacles, feeling like left out in the dark, left out in the cold with this person because it's like you're putting all this energy in and like you're texting them, trying to have a conversation with them even, and it's just like dry conversation right Aquarius so I just feel I just see you getting closure in that regard um whatever that closure looks like so let's now just get into some general messages for you my Aquarius see what's uh, I guess we're taking these as well um see what's up with just some general messages now the back of the deck energy is the world card coming in for you so definitely like things are happening from an energetic point right take that as you will right when you <laughs> i always laugh when i say like oh things are happening just in the background of things or just energetically so it just more so means just like things are just starting to warm up starting to heat up for you um so the cards that i pulled ten of swords coming in here closures you're committing to something you're committing to closing things off you're committed you're just fine i feel like you're finally just making commitments to things aquarius you're making commitments towards um healing you're making commitments towards um you're, it's almost like you're just tired of being in the headspace that you've been in like you're just exhausted from it and so now you're since you probably have been dealing with it for a few weeks now, if not like a couple months, probably just this entire 2021, really Aquarius, that you just like been in the state and now you're just like, you know, it's enough, enough. You, you're being like, I have, you're kind of being like, I have to do something. Um, three of Cups comes in with the Eight of Cups and the Three of Swords. So yeah, I feel like you're working through a lot of just past pain. I feel like you really have just been in this sense of... Um, learning how to just it's i'm sorry for that long pause aquarius but it's just like oh it's almost like you're just learning how to get over things you're learning how to just move on from pains learning how to that other people have caused right and it could be like here's the thing i don't feel like it's like anyone in your life directly are trying to hurt you or has hurt you aquarius i feel like this is just like a sense of like the anxiety that you felt in yourself, like you're finally just releasing that anxiety. It's almost just like you're waking up one day, Aquarius, and you're just like, you know what? Like, I'm done feeling, worrying about like if everyone hates me and you're just going to live your life now. And it's through you living your life, you realize that not everyone hates you, not everyone's out to get you. And so there's just like this sense of freedom from that anxiety. You kind of realize that anxiety was for nothing, almost, Aquarius, once you kind of just like just say screw it and just do uh dance to the beat of your own drum really 
So Aquarius, really beautiful cards. Um, such a beautiful reading. Thank you for allowing me to do this reading for you. If you enjoyed this reading, I would love for you to give me a like and subscribe and then share my readings with a friend that you think might be into my tarot messages. But until next time, Aquarius, I love you so much. Address that anxiety, honey, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, Aquarius.